Alright, I'm going to go back through. I did a video earlier. I'm going to redo it. Um, basically, what this video is about is how to cut long boards on a Felder C31. I got a C31 comfort saw. So, basically what I'm going to show you is. Now, the one thing about Felder, so you know, is their track is not a standard track. So, if you go buy an Inker miter or any of that type of stuff, it's, it, those do not fit in these tracks, okay? So, you know, whenever I use a track, I have to kind of rig up something that fits in the track to come with it. Anyway, Felder Cells, this, this is a kit, the Felder Cells, and basically what it's designed to do, this is a track that slides through this track. So, if you have a board that's longer than what you're sliding, uh, table can do or whatever for putting a straight edge on something then this is the way to go so what I'm going to do I'm, let me get out of the picture real quick I'm going to go ahead and set this up so then all I did too is I can use the board and I put some grooves in it and what I did is I bought these Marker jigs and I put dovetails so basically it fits in the board and I can kind of mount anything I want to now Whenever I'm doing short pieces and big pieces put a straight edge on I don't use this I basically take this toe plate and I'll put it on a sliding table and then I can basically just use slide table and put um, Straight edge on stuff. So what I'm going to do is I got raw lumber and I think I'm going to go through in parts of video to show you what I do with raw lumber, okay? Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is there's a little bolt here. When that's for is whenever I, I don't want to put my full sliding on, I can just put the fence on and I can just do a 90 degrees or 45 real quick for a little pieces. So just stop. So on the filter. I advise you take this out. And do that. Now what I'm gonna do this with this slot, and then I'm gonna slide it into two slots on the sliding table. So it's gonna take some cover five. Oh, and it's spot on. So there we go. As you can see, this slides. This slides through this groove here on the table. All right? So the next thing I want to do, I want to take a board. I want to put a straight edge on. Right, this is, of course, the face frame. This is popper. And then we'll kind of just kind of give it an eyeball on the straightest edge is. The next thing I'm going to do, get this out of the way. Get the blade up. There. So what I have here, I have a 315 millimeter felder ripping commercial blade. And uh, it's basically has 12 inches. So that's basically what I use to um, rip wood and run edges for. I've ran this a few times, and uh, the thing I noticed about this blade, I know my other blades, but there's not a whole lot of burnt wood on it. And it's, uh, it's a pretty loud blade. It's got these air gaps, but it's real loud. It makes a lot of air noise. So all I'm gonna do, Bring this back. And we'll put this right on the edge here. And we'll go back here and kind of line it up on the edge back here. Then what I want to do is make sure it's the curves lapping. We'll push it up. So I'm 
ici. And the next thing I'm going to do, and I highly suggest if you have a felder, see, or whatever, and your, um, your sliding table doesn't go that far, um, I suggest, you know, when you, when you get the board to do this, I suggest you go ahead and get this. Now, I probably don't have to hold it down, but what happens is it'll tend to move and you'll see when I get to the last part where the table, the sliding table stops, I have to push it through the groove. So um, I don't want to kind of push it out or do anything. So it's just best to hold it down. That's what I found. I tried the other way. It didn't work too good. And we'll clamp it back. Now I'm set up to do that. Now, next thing I got to do is get some goggles. Alright, it's going to get a little out, but I'm going to show you how this works. It's got to be pretty short, not that hard. When everything's set up, then we'll just turn it on there. So now I got an edge that's ready for me to uh, rip my wood for my um, face frame. That's that simple.